This game is a pleasant surprise. I obviously haven't beaten it because it's like 15 to 20 hours, but I've played for like 6 or 7. This is more like a first impressions video, and so far I'm having a blast. I think the story is great, it's fun, and some character twist, uh, some great character twist and character moments. The game has a very light tone, but when they hit you with a serious moment, it really hits you. The pacing is also actually surprisingly good. I do think in the first three hours, or three to four hours, it gets, like, it's pretty slow, but after that, it picks up and gets really good. All the guardians are written really well and can get annoying because they never shut up in some parts. Overall, the writing is almost always good, but it can get uh, cringy or bad. Now into gameplay. The gameplay is great. In the first three hours, it, it really sucks. Um, after you get some abilities, it, it gets really fun commanding your squad and using elemental ammo and stuff like that. It gets pretty fun. I played on hard mode, so, um, <clears throat> I played on hard mode in Star Lord's pistol to do barely any damage. So if I were you, go to custom difficulty, like, you can keep it on hard, easy, or normal, or whatever, but make Star Lord's pistol, <coughs> oh, excuse me, not bad, uh, Star Lord's pistols do more damage. I put on medium, so it, it just feels like you're actually doing damage, you know? And it's so much better. I do have a problem with the combat so far. One problem. Every character has every character has four abilities, which is great, but the combat isn't strategic enough where you have to use certain abilities on certain enemies. Now, <clears throat> mainly because the enemy variety is lackluster so far, at least. Um, it did get a bit better with the heavies and grenade. There are people, but it still feels empty. You do have to use certain characters on certain enemies to kill them quicker, but but not necessary, not necessarily their individual abilities, if that makes sense. Which kind of sucks, but hopefully the enemy variety gets better, so then you actually do have to play more uh, strategically. And there are also watchdogs, <coughs> a hacking puzzle type of thing, you know. Um, some light puzzles where you have to use the guardian's abilities to go across somewhere. Like if you, like Gamora has to go here and she can throw you up to the ledge so then you can get up under and shoot something down, you know. It, it can be pretty fun. These puzzles are great, simple, and fun. They also do not bog down the pace of the game at all. <coughs> at all. Uh, you get abilities, new elemental ammo, and gun upgrades pretty frequently, which is good, and keeps combat fresh. There is also ship combat, which is basic but fun. Also, I kind of to give props to the art style. It's great, and every location feels different, and the environment never feels the same. Now on to value. The game is supposedly 15 to 20 hours, give or take. Um... I haven't beaten the game yet, so I don't know if the story can stick my ending or or the ending, you know. So far, the, the game is great and it's fun. Um, the game also has cosmetic skins and collectibles you can find in every level, but overall, it's a linear game. I recommend this game. You should definitely pick it up. Tell me in the comments below if you enjoy um, if you enjoyed the game so far, and bye.